What's up, everybody? So today they updated the um, they updated the Hankaku hack, and so I'm gonna go ahead and update that. It's a new. I, I don't know what uh, if it's a revision or if it's just an update or what, but as you see, if we go in here, it should uh, update. Or might, uh, you know, freeze up. I don't know. Here it is. Oh, shit. Pressing the wrong thing. See, as you can see, it's installing new stuff. Version 3B0B7D6. Built yesterday. And there it is. All right, so uh, let's see what the interface looks like now. I think it's probably going to be about the same. And they also released officially the uh, Vitamin Game Dumper uh, VPK. Yeah, as you can see, oh, 8.6. I believe you can install larger game files now. I'm not sure. Um, I was having trouble uh, installing after I ripped... Um, kill zone right here and uh i ripped it and i was going to install it because I, I mean i already own a digital copy of it so it's not really piracy it's just like i just wanted to test it out and uh i don't know it, it i was having issues i was able to rip the game and store it and then when i would go to install it it would get about halfway through installing and it like glitched out and stuff so i don't really don't i don't really know what happened there you know but anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and add the vitamin, the new vitamin hack. I don't think I installed it yet. So, you want to put it in UXO. Uh, yeah, it's not in there. So, just today, come home. Also, there's this uh or amphetamine. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. There's this new uh, plugin, I guess. I'm, I guess it makes it faster. I'm not really sure how that works or how to do it. So we're gonna discover how to do that here in a minute. I also need, I also need to uh, extract it uh, from the zip file. Read me. Amphetamine plugin, plugin by the Flow, the very first plugin or in-game plugin. This is a simple plugin that sets the arm clock to 44, 4, 444 megahertz by pressing select for a few seconds. The Amphetamine, oh, excuse me, plugin menu will show up where you can set the arm bus GPU frequency. I have only done a benchmark with 444 megahertz arm clock bus is already at its max the uh and whether gpu frequency increasement does change anything is not known but the plugins folder at plug uh uxo colon plugins the plugin will only work with games that have been dumped with vitamin okay so i'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm going to go ahead and copy that over. Shit. We're going to pick uh, the right thing here. Okay, just pop that in there. All right, it's transferred. So now if we go... Whoops, wrong file. We're going to go ahead and install Vitamin, the official release. All right, so I think it's installed now. 
we back out, we can go to the main screen, the home screen here. There it is. So I, I do want to try and rip a game or uh, dump a game anyway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dump Minecraft just because I can. Okay. All right, so actually I'm gonna go ahead and uh, disable camera. All right, so as you can see here though, it has uh, Minecraft, Wipeout, and Call of Duty. So those are games I own digitally. Uh, I don't wanna try and do uh, a rip of a cartridge game yet because I've heard there's a few little things about that like Like certain certain things will only work with digital dumps instead of the physical dumps. But anyways, let's go ahead and dump this. Dump full game. And I've heard this is supposed to be faster as well. You do this. And it pops you out, it pops this open. After this has been activated, you just back out. You don't close that. You just back out and go back to vitamin. And then it starts this, and then it activates the dump. <clears throat> and it does take a little bit of time, but this is a smaller game. So I'm hoping it doesn't take so long. As you can see, there's a progress bar now. I don't know if you guys got the um, uh, the vitamin uh, leaked version of vitamin anyway. Uh, it's almost exactly the same, but it's mm, it doesn't have a progress bar or anything like that. See, like right now it says 17%, and it's got a little progress bar at the bottom there. So that's really cool. And it does take a little bit of time. And I and I guess I guess you can back out to the main screen. Yeah, but then once you go back in, it just continues. Okay, the game has been dumped successfully. Press X to continue, or to exit. I guess it's been dumped, I don't know. So, I'm just gonna try this out, because I mean... I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. I mean, if anything, I could just re-download the game. And now another thing you can also do is actually take your game backups and store them on your computer. But when I did that, it seemed to act weird when I tried to install the game again. Of course, I don't know if it had anything to do with the size of the game or what, but uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I think I screwed up something. I don't think it was something wrong with the software. I think it was just me. All right, so now if we go down to... UXO should find a new folder that says vitamin right there it is and there there's the game see it says 15.76 megabytes though so I don't think that's right I think I screwed up so I backed out probably gonna give me an error yeah so I, I did screw up do not back out when you're ripping a game just don't do that uh, what am I doing how do I there we go. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. All right. So I screwed up. That happens. Uh, 
Do I have another game that's smaller that I can rip? I don't think I do. No. Uh, and let me check my storage. I got three gigs on there. About three gigs anyway. So, and if you didn't notice, it does say um, uh, 3.60 and it says Hinkaku Revision 4. So, it is Revision 4. And I think you can still access PlayStation Network. Yeah. See, no problem. Actually seemed a lot quicker too, which is kind of weird. But anyways. Oh yeah, triangle. I'm going to download like a really small game. I'm pretty sure there's one that I own that's on here. Yeah, Fruit Ninja. Let's go with that. Small, as small as hell. It does not take up that much space. I don't know if it's actually playable though. <laughs> on the PlayStation uh, TV. So, yeah. Let's see if there's anything else that's small that I can download. Just to test it out, you know. I say I'm trying to do a PS uh, a PS One title. I don't know if that's actually possible to do. So I'm not sure. I've I've been told that PSP titles and PS One titles uh, are not. You're not able to do it. It has to be a PlayStation Vita title. So there we go. Uh, Fruit Ninja is already installed or downloaded anyway. Oh yeah, I should activate the uh, whitelist hack. I think you have to do this every time, every single time that you uh, restall your or like restart your uh, system, because I've noticed that um, I've had to do it every single time that I've rebooted my system. I've had a lot of games crash on me. Uh, that are not compatible. Like, um, for some reason, Trials, uh, Urban Trial Freestyle does not want to run for some reason. Alright, so the game is running. Looks just fine. Alright. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and close this. Let's go over to Vitamin. And not back out this time. Just watch it go. Jeez. So there's the game. Dumb fool game. It really shouldn't take very long at all. Yeah, as you, if you read this here, it says the application will now open the manual of your game in another application. Minimize the new application and then go back to this to this application. Do not click or close the newly open application. You gotta remember, don't do that, or you just, it's just not gonna work. You press X to continue, it brings you to this menu. You just hit the PlayStation button, go back over to Vitamin, access it. It will then open the game, which initializes the dump. So I think it's using like some kind of loophole, you know, in the in the system's programming in order for this to actually work, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. And it does seem to work a lot faster because I remember it took so long. It took like two hours to rip uh to rip that game, but uh kill zone, but it was like three gigs. So it's a pretty large game. I don't know if uh the hang the update for Hinkaku has the capacity to install that large of a game? I'm not really sure. So, I don't know.
Okay, so here it goes. Okay, that was weird. Uh, I think it's back. I think it's been uh, downloaded or dumped. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete this now. All right, so now we're going to go to um, Molecular Shell. We're going to go into Vitamin. Oops. Damn it. Okay, so there's the game. It says 29.22 megs. So I don't know if it worked right. So it's installing it. Error. <laughs> this is great. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> if anybody can tell me what I'm doing wrong, let me know. Maybe there was another thing I was supposed to do in uh, in this app. I don't fucking know. Anyway, uh, that's all for this, really. Because um, I really don't know what what else to do other than what I've been doing. I don't know if it's just screwed up and I just don't know or what. So I'm going to keep doing some research and then... Uh, I'll, I'll update this and let everybody know what's going on. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.